What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Cool Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at something that might be coming up in Black Ops 3, it might not be, but we're also going to talk a little bit about the ideas revolving around the entire concept as a whole through a couple of different games. That is micro DLC weapons in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, and Modern Warfare Remastered. So the main focus though and the main priority of this is going to be Black Ops 3 because a lot of people seem to think that there's going to be some January contraband coming within Black Ops 3 in the next couple of days to the next couple of weeks, following up and just being placed inside January. That said though, there's no real implications that say this might happen other than the fact that there was a recent update to Black Ops 3. So it's all pure speculation, nothing is set in stone or confirmed, but a lot of people might attribute this update that happened recently in Black Ops 3 to new weapons coming on the horizon, just adding them in, but not necessarily visible at this point in time. Though you could argue this was only to update the game so that you could have a double crypto key and a double liquid divinium weekend like we have right now but regardless on which way you want to look at it there was an update so it happened but to kind of take a look at what we can see maybe for dlc wise i think it's easier to take a look at what we've seen in the past and then maybe copy and paste those same attributes into a time frame that is coming up in the future so that said let's talk about this there's been nine dlc drops so far in terms of weapons melee weapons and ranged weapons alike within black Black Ops 3 that have come to the black market and been added in supply drops as a result. There's been nine of them since Black Ops 3 launched. Those stemmed all the way back in December of last year, 2015, or rather, I guess you could technically say two years back, but it's really only a year and a couple of days. But regardless, it stems back in December of 2015. That was the first DLC drops up until a couple of weeks ago in December of 2016 that we got DLC up until this point. And there's been a relatively constant amount of days in between. DLC 1 to DLC 2 was 57 days, DLC 2 to DLC 3 was 42 days, DLC 3 to DLC 4 was 45 days, DLC 4 to DLC 5 was 39 days, 5 to 6 was 44 days, 6 to 7 was 47 days, 7 to 8 was 34 days, and 8 to 9 was 59 days. So the recent ones are the outliers here. There were a pairing of them where it was 34, the lowest, and then the highest being 8 to 9 with 59 days. But if you take all of those and take the average, it's 45.9 days. So roughly every 46 days we get a DLC drop, so a month and a half that we get some content dropped into the black market as some new contraband and weapons are therefore included. So is it possible for DLC to come out and to be January contraband? Absolutely, because if you follow the rough estimate, it land on January 30th, thus being our January contraband, which is a Monday, but it's possible it could be the 31st for a Tuesday drop that DLC usually drops on, but the melee weapons and ranged weapons, the contraband is usually a little bit more sporadic, so it doesn't necessarily follow that specific design model and when content drops. So is it possible? Yes. Would it hold off until February? Possibly, but it is something that it follows then once again right into that month and a half or 46 day time frame that we're usually used to. So yes, it is possible, but is it likely? I'm honestly not entirely sure. And this is something that I want to discuss a little bit because this then crosses over into three different games. Black Ops 3 is still a very much so played game in terms of the PlayStation 4, PC even, and Xbox One player counts. PC of course has mods, so it does give a little bit of a competitive advantage where as players might not be playing that as much, but Xbox One and PS4 are still rather strong in the play count. You can go back and find games rather easily, and from just the general interest that I've seen around the community, people seem to really still be loving Black Ops 3 on a year that is, of course, in no way, shape, or form normal, but it is something that there's maybe not as much love for Infinite Warfare as previous years, and of course, when you have Modern Warfare Remastered as well, that kind of splits the player count too, but we've seen DLC so far in all three. Three. Black Ops 3 is of course having continuation of DLC and support through 2017 and into the next title with Sledgehammer up until that point, but then Infinite Warfare's had a couple of drops already to the Quartermaster, but only through variants. There's not been anything that indicates any weapons coming that we've seen so far. There are other weapons like classic weapons in the code, like the ACR, which maybe could come, but right now it seems like the variants are the majority and the priority of the Quartermaster updates. And then Modern Warfare Remastered had an update in which it added in a couple of melee weapons that really were only cosmetic like we've seen with Black Ops 3, but a lot of people fear that we might be seeing Modern Warfare Remastered have ranged weapons as well. There's been other weapons in the files that could maybe make it over into supply drops within that and the depot for Modern Warfare Remastered. But if that were to happen, 
Black Ops 3 definitely still has a lot of content that is coming. It's been confirmed that Treyarch is going to be working on this, but maybe all the weapons will be focused in Black Ops 3 and potentially maybe Modern Warfare Master, trying to swing these new weapons and this new content to players that are on the majority. And what the weird part is with Infinite Warfare is though there is still a healthy amount of players on, it definitely is drastically lower than we've seen previously in Call of Duty for a main title. So maybe it's not being treated as such with content and brand new content that will drive sales and it's being held back a little bit with variants and then the other weapons the full-blown weapon DLC is in maybe Modern Warfare Mastered and Black Ops 3 because the populations are still rather high so it's definitely something that is racking my mind a little bit here with it but regardless it is something that is very possible we could see more weapon DLC coming in the next couple of weeks with Black Ops 3 for maybe January contraband maybe it'll be saved for a February contraband and start the month off with DLC but regardless it is something that's possible and I would love to hear your thoughts here on this. So that said, that's going to wrap it up. Drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys looking forward to maybe some brand new weapons coming in Black Ops 3? And if so, do you think it's possible we'll see it in January or do you think it'd be held off until February if we get some more at all? Love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. And of course, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare Mastered, Infinite Warfare, and anything in Call of Duty particulars. That is something we'll be covering here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me here. I'm always on Twitter. If you want to have a conversation, ask me something, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below that you can find me. So that's it. Thank you dudes so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys are having a great day as well. Mine's been Cool Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.